Sand wasps taxonomically grouped under the genus Bembix are solitary ground nesting insects with more than 380 species worldwide. Female sand wasps excavate burrows in exposed sandy soils, tunneling into brood chambers where they lay eggs. Following OB position, females provision the developing larvae with flies they have hunted. These formidable fly hunters, however, can become prey to parasitic flies that exploit the wasps' nesting behavior. Here, we will examine the co-evolutionary dynamics between these wasps and their fly parasites using footage recorded at a beach in the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. Female wasps industriously kick large volumes of excavated sand backward using specialized tarsal rakes made up of spines on their front legs. The adaptation of front legs for specialized functions is a fascinating phenomenon evolved independently in a number of insect groups, such as the praying mantis and mole crickets. The deposition pattern of sand residues resulting from tarsal rake action create a narrowing area of contrasting color leading to the nest entrance. This acts much like the guidelines in flowers that direct pollinators in flight. Tarsal rakes do more than just enhance digging. They can also catapult sand away from the nest entrance, creating an effective visual cue that's easily recognizable from a distance. Long-range nest orientation is a highly beneficial cognitive trait. It allows females to increase their foraging area and reduces the energy they expend when returning to the nest with prey. Some Bembix wasps continuously feed their growing larvae, a behavior known as progressive provisioning. Others, however, use mass provisioning, stockpiling prey all at once. Remarkably, certain species such as Bembix americanum can even switch between these two provisioning strategies based on environmental conditions. The female wasp rapidly seals the nest entrance immediately after the larva turns into a pupa. The female expends significant energy to disperse and remove the visual cue associated with the nest entrance. The wasp's abdominal movements used to compact the sand are quite striking. The dorsal and ventral hard segmental plates of the abdomen are called pterygids and sternids. These hard exoskeletal plates have a functional role in the rapid hammering movements used for compaction. This special effort to delete visual cues is crucial because of the many nest parasites that pose a threat. At this final stage, the tarsal rakes once again prove their effectiveness. Here you can see a parasitic fly targeting a female wasp as she digs her nest alone. The intense pressure from parasites has led to the rapid evolution of nesting aggregation behavior in these solitary wasps. Here, a parasitic fly perches near a wasp aggregation, observing their activity, poised to sneak into a nest. When multiple wasps build their nests close together, this can effectively dilute the parasite's attention. Confused parasites may fail to locate nests with provisions thereby reducing the chances of any single nest being parasitized. The shift in behavior from solitary towards aggregated nesting is an important move toward the highest level of social organization, known as eusociality. Parasitic flies are expected to evolve an attention-like cognitive ability that helps them observe and locate nests containing provisions. The fly peripheral visual system primarily relies on compound eyes composed of numerous units called omatidia. Kleptoparasitic flies appear to have a greater investment in the peripheral visual system with greater number of omatidia and eye surface area. Moreover, in addition to the compound eyes, these flies also have larger simple eyes without retina called ocelli. Larger ocelli may be advantageous in evading fast-approaching predators since they can better detect sudden changes in light, such as a shadow cast by a swooping predator. As we will see, 
the persecuted host can detect the fly and attack it. The parasitic fly trails a returning host to its nest through a behavior known as satellite flight. Flies can easily lose attention when their cognitive capacity is overwhelmed by tracking multiple nearby nests, which can have fatal consequences. The parasite risks its life by repeatedly entering nests and exploring chambers to find prey and provisions. The wasp in this view is excavating at least three nests. Although the fly explored the nest only a moment ago, it decided to re-enter. The underground architecture of these nests can be quite articulated, making the search process much more challenging for the fly. For comparison, this drawing presents generalized cross-sections of three North American Bembic species nests side by side. Bembix occidentalis excavates a single tunnel, angled at 45 degrees, which leads to a few false brood chambers. Bembix palatopicta, however, digs two horizontally connected nest entrances. Deception is crucial in this reproductive arms race. If a female makes a noticeable entrance with prey, but secretly exits from another opening, the parasite might hesitate to enter, assuming the host is still inside. Bembix belfragae also digs a nest with a single entrance, but it includes a midway fork that branches into smaller bifurcations, leading to false brood chambers, likely to confuse parasites. The dynamics between the digger wasp and its fly parasite swing constantly from being a host-parasite relationship into that of predator-prey and vice versa. In this frame, a fly is demonstrating its attention-like characteristics, appearing to wait for the wasp to leave her nest. When the wasp takes off, she executes a recognizable flight maneuver with a narrow arc. Like a boomerang, she comes back to make a pass over the nest and surprises her fly enemy with a high-speed attack. The host, is now a predator. Suddenly, a second fly disrupts the attention of the first and makes a bold dash into the nest while the host is still inside. The first fly appears to have lost its focus. Just as she switches into self-grooming mode, the second fly emerges from the nest and takes off. The first fly drops her guard even further and turns her back to the nest entrance. After all the commotion, she appears to have forgotten that the host wasp, which is about to become her predator, still hasn't come out. The emerging wasp immediately recognizes the fly, but the fly also rapidly reacts to this new situation. She realigns herself with the threat and narrowly escapes the attack. Once again in slow motion, the wasp can be seen executing a boomerang maneuver to hunt the fly. Despite their strictly solitary lifestyle, the way these wasps form nesting aggregations is quite intriguing. Their behavioral diversity may offer clues as to how eusociality could have evolved, shaped by the selective pressures of host parasite and predator-prey dynamics.